And then, um, and then the other thing that we, we, uh, we see thousands of business plans every year. And so we don't get to meet everybody. <laughs> and so uh, I make the cut based on how big's the market? Is it an industry that needs transforming? And is it interesting technology? And then I say, okay, this, this passes all those tests and I meet the entrepreneur. The one thing I'm looking for when I meet the entrepreneur is incredible gusto and enthusiasm. They have to just love what they're doing. It doesn't have to be like cheerleading, you know, go, go team. It, but it does have to be like, I, I did, I, I always ask this one question. It's a good, good question for all of you to ask when you're, um, when you're looking at an entrepreneur. Uh, why are you doing this? Do it that way. Why are you thinking? What are you thinking? Why are you doing this? And then the, it, it's interesting. It's, it, the great entrepreneurs are separated from the, the would-be entrepreneurs very quickly. The would-be entrepreneurs say, well, because uh, my friend thought it was a good idea and I would have, or, or, uh, or, I, or the bold ones say, I want to make money. Or they, want, they say, I want to make you money. Those are sort of the clever ones. <laughs> <laughs> but the one that I back is the one that says, because it has to be this way. Because the, I, I told my boss over and over, this is the way that all the customers want this. This is so important. And, the, and my boss just wouldn't listen because he's got that gravy train going and he knows that we got to do it this uh, he knows that maybe we got to do it this way but he just has this great thing going and and it's an innovator's dilemma or whatever and but I've got to do it and and and, it, and if I'm not going to do it with you I'm going to do it with somebody else there are plenty of people you know plenty of fish in the sea uh, when I see that I think okay this guy or girl by the way women are rocking it now. Yeah. It's amazing. And, and most of, I mean, the ones I see are these ones that go through Draper University and they come, they, they come to Draper University kind of go, oh, hi, I'm here. And they leave Draper University going, I'm going to take over the world. <laughs> because they go through this survival training and it, they come out just like super strong. And there's this wave. My daughter is only backing women. There's this wave um, where you're going from, you know, what used to be like 5% of entrepreneurs being, entre being I mean, 5% of entrepreneurs being women to now like, I don't know, 30. And that to me looks like a major trend. And, uh, and the women who do start businesses are going to be quite extraordinary because they're taking that big, you know, they're taking that big step we were talking about. <laughs> Ooh, a little stiff legs. Um, so where was I? You know, women, they always confuse me. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so what, uh, so, so that when you see an entrepreneur like that, go ahead and take the plunge with them and think in terms of like, hey, I want to try this. This is going to be pretty interesting.